Welcome back to VATSIM 101, everybody. Today, we're going to be talking about how to fly DME arcs. Like many other subjects that we cover here at VATSIM 101, DME arcs are not nearly as complicated as they sound. DME is an acronym that stands for Distance Measuring Equipment, which is as it sounds. It's equipment on board the plane that measures the distance between you and a certain fix. Now, the actual distance measuring equipment on the plane was designed to track your distance from VORs. Most DME arcs that you are going to find today are going to be on transitions to instrument approaches, although you can make up your own DME arcs to stay away from certain airspace or terrain, both of which I have done in the real world. Right behind me here, I have a very to scale, very accurate depiction of what a DME arc is going to look like. So we're going to start our arc from the 330 degree radial from this nondescript VOR, and we're going to track it to the 360 degree radial and then fly inbound to the VOR itself. Now, when we track the 330 degree radial from this VOR, we want to make sure that we are tracking it with a from indication. When we intercept the 330 degree radial, we are going to turn 90 degrees in the direction of the arc. So in this case, we're going to turn to a heading of 060. Then we're going to take our OBS selector and we're going to set that to 340 degrees. When we do this, the needle on the OBS is going to deflect all the way to the right hand side because now we're going to be tracking the 340 degree radial, which is 10 degrees off course. Now, once we start flying to the 340 degree radial, we are going to follow a guideline called turn 10, twist 10. We're going to turn 10 degrees to the right and then we're going to twist the OBS selector 10 degrees to the right. And the reason that we're going to be turning at 10 degrees to the right is because we are making a right-handed arc. So when we get to the 340 degree radial, we're going to turn to a heading of 070, and we're going to flip our OBS selector to the 350 degree radial. Once we intercept the 350 degree radial, we're going to turn to a heading of 080 degrees, and we're going to switch the OBS selector to 360 degrees. Now, since we're not going to be continuing the arc after the 360 degree radial, we are going to need to make an intercepting turn in order to track inbound on the radial. Now, as mentioned before, most of the time you're going to see DME arcs is on instrument approach. Approaches, so I just want to show you what one looks like right here. If we are going to be transitioning from Clipper or Yatby, we are going to need to fly a 10 nautical mile arc to our intermediate fix at Saleg to the north. Another one I'm going to show you here real quick because I feel like this is probably going to be a question if I don't address it. So for the VOR approach for runway 15 at Martin State, if you were doing turn 10, twist 10, you would be doing it on all the four degree radials. But you can see that some of these fixes are on some of those off radials. So when you do your turn 10, twist 10, if that 10 degrees is going to be past that VOR radial, just switch it to the VOR radial that it's supposed to be in order to track those fixes properly. 